What's up? Big news, big stuff. It's been a little bit. Y'all know what's going on in Star Rail. Well, we've got this tweet, of course. Attached is this video. Basically, a Jingle Yu trailer. We've got a Jingle Yu character introduction. The the good things, the good things coming out of this this development team, as always. I'm really excited. Uh, even though I'm not pulling for Jingle Yu, <laughs> I I have Yan King. Okay, I can't I can't have both of them. Why would I want both of them? We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna read this. Then I'm gonna watch this. I'm gonna uh. Then I'm gonna go read this, I guess. Unless this is the video. I don't know. Now, if you don't know what this is, this is the, uh... This is the, like, the, the, uh... The, the pre... The pre-text. The pre... The... What do you call that? Like, the text before the, the video? Like, the text... Pretense, I guess? I don't know. It, it is what it is, you know what I mean? Um, Myriad Celestia Trailer. Cloud Knights. Martial Doctrine on Swords. Uh, obviously, Honkai Star Rail. All right, watch now. This is the YouTube video. Uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to read this first or what, but I'm going to. Unequaled by all that have come before, peerless and present, singular in its creation, capable of parting the clouds above and chasming the earth under earth beneath. This is the sword I desire. Does a sword such as this truly exist in the world? A sword three feet and seven inches in length that weighs nothing. It is not forged from any ordinary iron but condensed from a shaft of sharp ice. It glows with a dim light as if, it's, as if it is a strand of moonlight held in the wielder's hand. And Yang King is in this trailer. My boy, my main, let's go. Uh, he's about to get power crept and we're about to see it in action. They've got no shame, baby. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Myri Myriad Celestia trailer, the Cloud Knight's material, martial doctrine on swords. All right, and then the, what we just read was here, and it's there's gonna be Jingliu and Yang King. Those are the, apparently the only two people in this trailer. All right. Traveling with you has stirred up my curiosity. What drove you to pick up the sword at such a young age? I see my boy. Well, I suppose there's no harm in telling you. At first, it was the general stories about the previous sword champion. He told me about her unparalleled skills, her unmatched prowess with a sink. What is this quality? It's HD quality? Why does this look like it's like 240p? Oh, blade! Uh. It inspired me that one day I could earn the title myself. You can, my boy. So, it was the allure of renown. Who's I that person wanted... talking in the beginning? That's Jingle Union! That's this girl. Hold on. That's her. This is her. This is this is her. This is Jingle Yu. You, you were not let down. Trust me, you'll to see in a second. To the general's expectations and repay him for the gift of his teachings. Where would I be without him? Then you wish to forge deeper ties. It's more than that. One day, I'll run into battle alongside my Cloud Knight comrades, defending the Wafu and striking down those who threaten us, putting my abilities to their rightful use. <laughs> in the end, it all comes back to fealty. What's with all the questions, miss? Why did you choose the path of the sword? I too was once shackled by fame and fortune, impeded by bonds and loyalty. But in the end, the sword moves beyond such notions. Holy. For the sword is just a sword, an instrument determining life and death. Nothing oh. can tarnish its essence. What is going on right now? What is she doing right now? What is she doing? Walked the fiery trail and cut through every impediment. Can you understand the purpose behind every switch? This is of awesome your... animation, bro. I love how this is like not. I don't know. I just love how this is like an animation, like art drawn, like not gameplay or any like 3D uh, rendering. It's like a whole, like a whole like, like visualization of like a manga type deal. I love that. Sword. Smooth. Look at this. Yang King, my boy. Do you understand now, future sword champion? I wield the sword to vanquish my enemies. Nothing more. <laughs> and now, our battle begins. Oh my 
my god! Oh! Dude, yo, I wish I could see. I, oh my god. Wait, that's awesome. So, I guess the whole lore of this, right, is that this lady, Jing Liu, uh, is. She is basically like. She doesn't use a real sword. She uses like. A fake sword. She makes her own sword. That's kind of that's her light cone. I think it's I shall be my own sword or something like that. She kind of like crafts one out of thin air. She's like, 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 boom, sword, sword, sword. Kind of like Yang King does. Now, if you don't know, Yang King literally does the exact same thing, right? He summons swords out of thin air and they like float around him. He's like a sword caster. So, uh, I'll, apparently from the lore, I forget where I read this, um, is that Jing Liu, like, like, mimicked Yang King's sword style just by, like, fighting him once or something, because she's blindfolded. And so she can't, like, see, but she, apparently she heard. She heard what his sword sounded like, and then, boom, like, she has him. Oh, future sword champion. I wield the sword to vanquish my enemies. Nothing more. Games. That was wicked. Yo, okay, okay. Let's just talk about like this. What my favorite part was like these little snippets of like. Hey, I'll run into battle alongside my Cloud Knight comrades, defending the Wafu. And like this, and and like uh, where's this the the red part? Oh, this, this. I retrail and cut through every impediment. This like. Can you understand ooh. the purpose behind every It's so smooth and cool. Such a character. Look at that. Gulp. Gulp. Do you understand now, future? Sweats. Um. Yes, I understand now, future swordmaster. Um. Even on Jing Liu's trailer, Yang King got bodied. He just can't take a break, can he? Stop. No. No. Frick. Oh, yeah, true. First it was Blade and Ambivator Lune, then Kafka and Trailblazer, and now Jing Liu. That is so true. There's literally three quests, or like two quests where Yang King gets wrecked by by characters. In the main story quest, it's Blade and Ambivator Lune, and they're like, they're like trying to escape, and uh, Yang King is like, stop! And then, uh,. They kind of destroy him, and then Jing Yuen has to come and save his booty. Uh, and then Kafka and Trailblazer is like a, a companion mission where you're like trying to help Kafka out on the the La Fu, and Yang King comes up and he's like, "Stop!" And um, you kind of destroy him. Well, actually, you have to you actually have to like fight that time, but you know, yeah, he literally he can't catch a break. Yang King just sucks. I know he's so good, dude. I'm a Yang King main. I can't be caught saying he sucks. He's so good, but he's just like he—he he needs a buff. <laughs> I'm just—I'm just trolling. Like in in game, he's actually like really good. He's like a SS tier in my opinion. If I were to make a tier list, I would put him in SS tier. Um, everybody else puts him in S tier, but I disagree because they just haven't played him. They just assume. They just go with the mass opinion. Oh, everybody else says Yang King is an, uh, an S tier, so I must say he's an S tier. No, no. He's up there with Zila. He's, it's not Copium. He's up there with Zila, okay? He is up there, right next to her. They're shaking hands on the on the tier list, okay? There's that. Uh-huh. No, it's not Copium. That's where they are. All right? Uh, do I even bother reading all this? All that? Do I bother reading all that? All that? Uh, they already posted a ability showcase for her, um, so we've seen, we've seen a lot of this stuff, um, in action with, with voice lines and, and, uh, you know, sound on the animation. This is, this ultimate is my favorite. Just look at the, look at this real quick. Look at that. Look at how her eyes turn red. They go, boom! She goes, she goes, she goes, it's very cool. Um, very, very cool. Anyways, this trailer was very cool. I loved all of it. Thank you, Hoyoverse. That was awesome.
Alright, alright. I'll stop being annoying. Um, Bored at such a young age. No, I won't. I want- I'm so excited for the new story to drop, so I can see Jingliu in action. I can see who she is more in-depth, related to the- connected to the other characters inside of the plot. I want to meet Jingliu. I want to do all those cool things as the trailblazer. It's going to be great. It's going to be cool. It's going to be awesome. I'm so excited for Jingliu. And that would be in, like, five days? Five days now? Or is that where we're at? Is that where we're at with this thing? Here, let's check. Let's check, people. Let people, let's check. Hey, let's check. Three days! Wait, is that right? Hold on. Okay, five days until... That was 18 hours ago, so... We're about four to five days until... Until... Uh, we're about four days. Four days out, about. For Jing Liu. Almost three. Kinda four. Uh, we are... Saying goodbye to Fu Xuan. I didn't pull you. Or saying goodbye to Lynx. I did. Uh, a couple times, I think. I don't know. But, I'm excited. Wait, wait, why am I excited? I'm not, I'm not pulling for Jing Liu. I have Yang King. I literally, I literally am a Yang King main. I, I don't know what I'm talking, I don't know what I'm on about. Alright, anyways. That was this Jing Liu trailer. Very awesome. I loved this kind of, like, uh... Old cartoony animation, you know what I mean? Like Samurai Jack uh, animation. You've walked the fiery trail and cut through every impediment. Can you understand the purpose behind every swing of your sword? That was awesome. That was that was probably my favorite part. Anyways, a sword, three feet seven inches. Very cool. Very cool. Jing Liu. I'm excited for you to come to the game. Alright chat, that was that, that was that.